African football country squad Sepin, who is standing by on the uh, track for the arrival of the Cameroonian president. We will then have a uh, closing ceremony with the uh, musical acts and some dancing, representative of the culture here of uh, Cameroon. That's the uh, Doria Stadium that you see here with uh, everything in place standing by for the start of the competition. Paul Bia, along with uh, Mrs. Uh, Chantal Bia, who is the uh, wife of the president. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, Madame Chantal Bia, the great African football family wishes you a warm welcome to the Olympic Stadium on the occasion of the closing of the African Cup of Nations, Grand Total Energy Camo 2021. Cameron's president will now uh, receive the national anthem. Cameroonians will not get to hear their national anthem before the kickoff of the final. The team knocked out in the semis, but that certainly uh, will lift the spirits after what have been a disappointing week for them last night. Of course, though, some uh, consolation. They uh, won third place at the three goals down in the second half. Fought back for an incredible victory in the bronze medal match against the King Fanto. And they will be on the podium tonight at the end of uh, footballing matters to uh, collect their uh, bronze medals for their uh, performance last evening. the presidential cavalcade has uh, passed and uh, the president greets the cup. We can begin with the closing ceremony for this uh, competition. Now the president in power for uh, some four decades. The oldest serving leader of an African country. It's an opportunity for Cameroon, of course, to uh, promote itself uh, around the world, hosting uh, the African Cup of Nations for the second time, 50 years after their uh, first hosting. It was back in 1972, their team as well knocked out at the semi final stage. They have won the uh, Cup of Nations five times. They're called uh, effort only by the Egyptians who this evening will be attempting eight successes eight success in the African Cup of Nations. Three in a row, of course, uh, between 2006 and uh, 2010. They have won since then Egypt. Their opponent, Senegal, uh, yet to win Africa's top title. But uh, we're in the final at the last edition in Cairo, losing to Algeria by a single goal. Five stadiums built or refurbished for this tournament by uh, Cameroon. They certainly left with a rich uh, infrastructure, much improved from uh, the days when uh, there were just two venues available in Douala and in Yaoundé. Although somewhat uh, ironic with the Amayadu Ahiju Stadium, moved the uh, best of the locks, the old Yaoundé venue, with uh, 12 matches hosted at this tournament, making Yaoundé now the uh, third most prolific city in the history of the African Cup Nations behind uh, Cairo and Accra in terms of the number of uh, final matches played, which of course hosted more Cup Nations than any other country. This can be considered something of a victory lap for the Cameroonian president after the uh, hosting of this tournament. Cameroon was hosted in 2019, delayed uh, for another uh, edition. And after 29 days of action, we have uh, come to the point where we will decide, or we will find out who the uh, new African champions are. Ten flights today arriving from the Cairo, some uh, four and a half thousand spectators added to the numbers over the last day or two from Egypt to support the national team in their bid to uh, win this African Cup of Nations. Uh, also flights arriving from Dakar with supporters for uh, Senegal, not as numerous as the Egyptians, but they will be heard and they will be in the house for uh, today's encounter. So with uh, Stamford, this time is on the African continent and what it needs to the various countries. There's some uh, footage posted earlier on social media of all of the Egypt Air and Air Cairo flights parked on tarmac at uh, Gilded Airport. One of these fans uh, will arrive in the morning and uh, at the end of the game will be uh, taken back to the airport, fly home overnight and uh, be hoping that they all smiles when they arrive home on Monday morning. Big night particularly for Senegalese football, they've been in this situation twice before, never emerged as winners. This might seem a little bit of old hat for the Egyptians given how they have dominated uh, the African Cup of Nations in the past. They are the uh, country with uh, not only the most number of titles, also the most appearances in the final, uh, the most number of times they've qualified for a finals tournament, the most games played in the finals tournament, most victories, most goals, and uh, until recently, the most successful appearances as well, the that uh, Tunisia has taken away from them. 15th tournament for uh, Senegal. Anticipation uh, for their national side. That's uh, for the first time favourites as well, marginal, but favourites nevertheless coming into this game. They're in the 
Dogs against Cameroon in 2002 in Bamako Mali, where they lost on both match penalties. That was an emerging team that went on to reach the quarterfinals of the World Cup in Japan and South Korea in what was only the second time that an African side had got to the last eight of the World Cup. And then, of course, 2019, this generation, and most of these players involved in the final against uh, Algeria some 938 days ago now, since uh, Senegal beaten by an early goal for the Algerians and then a very stout defensive performance. Those colours, of course, are not far away from those of the host nation, so it might seem as if they have uh, more support in the card, but there will be a uh, majority will be Cameroonians who will be hoping their own side will be competing in this game, but are here nevertheless to uh, experience the thrill of watching an uh, African Nations final. It's the 33rd time we will have a deciding match at the end of an African Championship. We wait for the uh, closing ceremony, and the artists who will perform. It's a fairly brief ceremony, about 15 minutes, and then the two teams will be out on the pitch for uh, a warm up. The game, of course, will kick off uh, at 8 p.m. local time uh, in Cameroon, which is uh, 7 p.m. GMT. The final, of course, was in Khartoum back in uh, 1957. The Egyptians won that uh, in fairly convincing fashion. They've gone on over the years to uh, certainly dominate. The fact that they were amongst the founding members of the African Football Confederation does help. There is uh, Bobia now, having taken his place in the crowd along with his wife. Next to him, Chief Sebe, the uh, president of uh, the Confederation of African Football, as well as FIFA's boss, Gianni Infantino. Hello! Ok! Oh! Direction la sortie par éléments successifs. Direction une fois par temps. Oh! Marche! the VIP area directly in the middle of the picture about at the uh, press facilities where the uh, television and radio commentary as well as all the uh, written media are performing their tasks this evening. Stadium might be full of course. Restrictions on the numbers uh, here at the Olympic Stadium because of uh, the COVID protocols in this country. Matches with uh, Cameroon were allowed to have a higher percentage of matches uh, without the participation of the host country but uh, it does mean uh, less numbers than uh, we would usually have at this competition. and Patrice Mosebe have been meeting over the last uh, 24 hours with uh, clubs around the proposal of a Super League for African football to start uh, late next year. And the top clubs in Africa are invited as well to uh, not only participate in this seminar but to uh, come and watch this game here today. And the Cameroon military will uh, depart and then uh, we will begin with the opening ceremony. The IP area, of course, will be uh, strictly controlled for the leadership of uh, Cameroonian government as well as from figures in the Confederation of African Football, some of the FIFA invitees for this tournament as well. The crowd now looking forward to the closing ceremony, an opportunity to uh, take in some of Cameroon's best musical talent. And the last of the uh, military parade leaves the Olympia Stadium. Various branches of the service in Cameroon. Essentially kept the crowd entertained uh, today. Set the tone for what will be uh, we hope, a wonderful atmosphere for the final year of the African Cup of Nations. It's the uh, only the second time in your window. Back in 1972, and the uh, 3 1 victory for uh, Congo, 3 2 victory for Congo over Mali in uh, that final. Mali took the lead uh, at half time. Congo uh, scored three goals in the space of four minutes on the way through the uh, second half. They actually conceded one, one game by three goals to two. Congo not qualified for this tournament. Mali making it through to the round of uh, 16 and then uh, suffering 
a lot of shock defeats, albeit not post-match penalties, at the hands of tiny Equatorial Guinea. One of the great surprise stories of uh, tournament littered with uh, shock results, the achievements of the likes of Camors and Gambia as well, the uh, early dismissal of uh, teams like Algeria and uh, Ghana. Excellence, Monsieur le Président de la République du Cameroun, Madame la Première Dame, Monsieur le Président de la Confédération Africaine de Football, Monsieur le Président de la FIFA, Madame la Directrice Générale de l'UNESCO, Monsieur le Chef de la Délégation Égyptienne, Monsieur le Chef de la Délégation Sénégalaise, Distingués invités, Mesdames et Messieurs, le programme de la cérémonie de clôture de la 33e édition de la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations de Football, Cannes Total Énergie Cameroun 2021, prévoit une parade culturelle. Je vous remercie de votre attention. So, cultural parade. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Cameroon, the First Lady, the President of the Confederation of African Football, the President of FIFA, Madam Director General of UNESCO, the Head of Egyptian Delegation, the Head of Senegalese Delegation, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The program of the closing ceremony of the 23rd edition of the Football Africa Cup of Nations, Total Energy African Cameroon 2021, will be marked by a cultural display. Thank you for your attention. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, you are now cordially invited to watch the cultural display. Excellence, Mesdames et Messieurs, vous êtes maintenant invité à bien vouloir vivre la parade culturelle. Je vous remercie. So the invitation to watch the parade of Cameroonian culture. Sikori from South Africa, that uh, worldwide number one Jerusalem after KD's chart topping song, which uh, went to the uh, number one slot on the Billboard charts. So, South African start to a Cameroonian cultural evening. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Cameroon, the First Lady of Cameroon, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as the sun gradually sets on this 33rd edition 
of the total energy is Africa Cup of Nations, Cameroon 2021. The only thing that crosses all mind is expression of happiness, peace, gratitude, or the expression of talent. For 28 days, this could only be possible thanks to the vision, the motion, the love and passion of the father of the nation, the president of the Republic of Cameroon, His Excellency Provia, to whom the Cameroonian people and Africa says, thank you very much. Merci infiniment. Akeva, Osoko, Pepe for this cultural evening, this is feast, feast and feast. Ladies and gentlemen, this papa was await you to perfect the beautiful continental jamboree that began 28 days ago. À l'occasion de la Cannes Total Energy Cameroun 2021, nos pays, un mois durant, a rassemblé ce qui était pas, a fédéré les nations africaines, a rassemblé à tous les citoyens du monde l'image de l'Afrique vraie, l'Afrique altruiste, l'Afrique généreuse, hospitalière, fraternelle et tournée vers son avenir. Durant cette Cannes, nous avons crié, sauté, pleuré, c'est ça le football au Cameroun, oui, c'est comme ça ici, au pays de Rochenila, au pays de Samuel Eto, au pays de Vincent Aboubaka. So Abu Ka and Roger Miller mentioned the amongst the symbols of the Cameroonian sports. Et surtout pour vous qui arrivez, Excellence Madame la Directrice Générale de l'UNESCO, la fine fer de la culture camerounaise va vous offrir dans un instant un show artistique féerique. Ils se rendent Salaciel, Daphne, Stan Leno et James Nikaes qui chantera la mémoire de son père de regretter la mémoire Manu Dibango. Excellence, Mesdames et Messieurs, ce bouquet final qui vous est offert à la veille de la fête nationale de la jeunesse est notre manière à nous les jeunes de dire un grand merci Celui grâce à qui nous vivons ce bon moment, 50 ans après. Le président de la République, M. Folvia, vous êtes notre président, vous êtes notre père, on va vous soulever jusqu'au ciel. Nous vous disons au revoir, à bientôt, vive là. Performance from James BKS, the son of Manu Dibango, I believe Cameroon's most famous artist.
Performance from Shelley Till, who is from uh, Douala in Cameroon. Performances by Daphne, who is uh, just a field artist in Cameroon. Une armée interprète 